Well, welcome back, everyone. We're talking back to school once again this morning. We talk so much about your children when it comes to school, but what about the parents? Our guest is Carla Hudson, the Health and Wellness Director over at the Cooper YMCA. Carla, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you're a mom, and uh, this time of year, it can be emotional, it can be exciting for parents. What are some of the emotions that go through your mind when you drop the kids off at school this time of year? Um, you know, just getting them back into a routine. I know that, you know, there's anxiety, of course, of starting school and new new schools, new classmates and everything, but, you know, just a lot of, you know, getting back into that and I think excitement of being able to see friends again, too, on a regular basis. So. I know that sometimes those kids maybe get a little nervous before the school starts. Do you have any tips for parents and how you keep your kids, like, kind of stay in the course here as we head back into the school year? Yeah, um, you know, I think just finding those regular activities for them. Um, just again seeing their friends again and and getting back into sports different things like that so yeah what about parents what are i know the ymca offers a lot of things for parents once uh, once they drop their kids off there's uh, opportunities for them to go go to the ymca and have some programs there that can help out right yeah absolutely we you know have a lot of different things i think that pick up in the fall again um, we've got a lot of our classes that we really try to gear the the start times of group exercise classes around after that school drop-off time um, we see a lot of uptick in, in fall programming, like our Why You Lose It Weight Man Management program, and just different specialized things that I think help people to get back into that routine and pick back up on their fitness stuff. And do you see an increase in, in parents that come, come to those classes? We do, yeah. You know, I think, you know, you get out of the summertime when you've got more time at the pool in the afternoons and you get back into those regular times of, okay, we got to get back into a routine and look at what their fitness goals are and everything. So those definitely pick back up, so. I know you guys were telling me that partner, like partner running, partner lifting is, is, a, is a very popular thing this time of year. Do you have, do you have ways to encourage uh, parents to find a, find a lifting buddy or a running buddy? Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, our wellness team does a great job of, you know, being on the floor and talking to people about what different opportunities we have and, you know, just based on what their goals are, trying to help them get connected to other members and, and whatever that might be. Um, so just a lot of different, you know, programs and, and things that, you know, whatever their goals are. I can't stop talking about the kids, of course. We've got to keep an eye on them. <laughs> yeah. But what about um, opportunities for them to, to still stay active even though yeah. you have school and uh, homework and all the activities that come with that? Right. I think, you know, again, getting them back into that routine, having some structure and, you know, whether that's swim lessons, gymnastics, dance, um, our fall sports and everything, a lot of those start times start up again in that late August, early September time frame so that they can get back into the groove of that too and, you know, again, being healthy and being strong and everything. So, As a parent, do you find that that helps with, you know, maybe homework and the classes as well? Yeah, I think absolutely having that outlet of being able to, you know, expend that energy, you know, you've been sitting in the classroom all day and everything, so it's good to have those practice times, again, getting that social outlet as well as the physical part of it is really important for them. So. We talked a little nutrition earlier in the show with, uh, with Nathan Grieve, but any tips for, from you knowing that, you know, how to meal prep maybe for those kids again, the, the healthy meals as they head off for class? Um, yeah, you know, I think just, you know, making sure they have a good breakfast before they leave and, um, you know, schools do a great job with what they're offering for lunchtime and everything. So that are bringing their own, of course, but, you know, making sure that again, they're fueling, getting something if they're going to practice before, you know, having something get before practice at night and, and a good healthy meal before bed. So. Yeah. All right. Sometimes adults are the worst at that, right? When we, so I, 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 <laughs> I struggle to eat breakfast in the morning, so that's something that I got to be better with my kids anyway. Yeah. Uh, but my, my son Theo, he loves his breakfast. So we'll <laughs> keep, hopefully that Good. continues as he gets into school age. Well, Carla Hudson joining us right now from the YMCA. Uh, thank you so much, Carla, for your tips this morning. Absolutely. To help those parents out as they head back to class. Uh, some of them next week, I believe it or not. Right. Great. All right. We'll be right back after the break.